Hi, I'm Phil Chen, the senior VP from JetBird Display, JBD. So what's happened the last three, four years? Yeah, so we have been developing our micro LED displays in monochrome color and also in polychrome, which is our latest product. We call it Hummingbird, which we officially launched yesterday at SID. So this is full color? Full color, the world's smallest polychrome micro LED projector with a volume of only 0.4 cc cubic centimeter. Nice. And you have it uh, demonstrated? Yes. And here we have a reference design where we couple our latest projector with a decent waveguide. Mm. So you can see through the glasses, you will see very vivid images. Wow. All right. Let me try to capture this on the camera. Yeah. There we have. It's, it's at... So it's full color? Yes, it is full color. How good colors do you have? Yeah, it's, uh, we have 8-bit. We have uh, resolution-wise 640 by 480 at uh, pixel pitch, 4 micron. Four micron, it's quite small. Yeah, that's how we can make the world's smallest uh, projector. Yeah. Full HD? No, it's 640 a, by 480. Yeah. How soon you can make 4K? Uh, we wish, yeah, not that. Uh, Next year? No, maybe, yeah, maybe two years or so. That's amazing. So, so how do you combine all three? This, this is three there? Yes, so we combine them through a X cube um, geometry. So is it's a, yeah, it's an optical combiner. Let's see. Polychrome? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. So, so what's, what is shown here? Yeah, so you take three individual monochrome uh, micro LED panels, you combine them together through a X cube, and then on top of the, uh, in front of the X cube, you have the uh, color mating lens. So overall, you finish this, um, yeah, you complete this uh, projector, yeah, polychrome. All right. Um, so there's like, some kind of prism, but all three coming in. Yeah, through the X cube. We call it the X cube optics. It is basically an optical combiner, which combines three colors into the full color white. Is it very difficult to design this, or yeah, it, it there's takes, a way to do it? Yeah, it takes some effort to design it in such a small form factor, and also it is challenging to do the active alignment because you need to make sure all three colors align well. And uh, through you know months of engineering, we managed to achieve this. Nice. How bright is the image? Yeah, very good question. So we are now looking at into eyes more than one thousand nits. And uh, by our design, because we are already recently you know going into mass production, so the nominal in eye brightness coupled with a decent waveguide could be close to 2,000 nits, which is sufficient for outdoor applications. Uh, the previous videos I did with JBD, you yeah. were talking about million nits. Which, which color, how do you do so much brightness? Yeah, so uh, yeah, at an individual single color in you know, a monochrome panel level, we now have 0.75 million nits from green uh, from red we have five million nits out of green and then we have one million nits out of blue so when you combine all these three colors together you can achieve such high brightness but how is it that five million goes down to 1000 nits yeah because if you look at the waveguide efficiency it's way less than one percent we certainly hope that we can see 0 0.1 so what are we looking at here so that's our 0.13 inch display. Um, so that's going into that pair of glasses. And this is a projector based on the 0.13 inch display. Actually, this display won the Display of the Year Award at SID. All right. Yes, and here we have got an end product from one of our customers <laughs> called Li Weike. And they just use one monochrome projector here 
and split the image but it's a very clever design where you have a binocular vision with just one projector and it's using waveguides. Nice. Binocular with just one projector. That's right. And it's very clear in there. It's green. It's very green. It's just using one projector and uh, the claim brightness to the eye is about 1500 nits. Yeah, the green one original starts at what nits? Uh, so it's about four to five million nits depending on the display. So for this display with the Spy Quad Spy interface uh, that we just saw, uh, that's got a typical brightness of four million nits. And our new version with the MIPI interface is typically five million nits. All right, so it goes from five million to 1,500 at the end. Yes, because you have got losses through the projection optics and the waveguides are extremely lossy, but that's why you need a micro LED display. Uh, so if you thousand, start a thousand, that you'll end up with one. <laughs> is it possible to have a different design for the uh, the waveguides and everything, the optics that brings you 10,000 with the, the same chip? There's, there's uh, different architectures available. Uh, waveguide is known to have the smaller form factor, lightweight and uh, you know it's manufacturable uh, especially the diffractive kind but there are other architectures available uh, which are more, more efficient uh, so what's in your box here so in the box we've got like different uh, just samples here we've got the same display that we talked about and this is the full color display that you see in the binocular glasses demo and we have got like the three displays going into the uh, X cube, uh, just being shown there. S is this the size of the projector on my next phone to project uh, on a wall, or um, it's designed to be focused at infinity? So you need to re redesign the lens to focus at at a certain focal uh, plane. Uh, but yes, it it can be integrated into various micro projection systems. So, do you have some demos projectors? Uh, no, we do not have a projection demo because uh, no, it's not set up. But You're just showing AR. Yes. Yes. And do you do VR? Uh, we have. We we are capable of doing displays for VR, but we do not have a standard uh, range of products that goes into VR. And we also have UV displays, so the same projector is available as a UV projector as well. And it's a really small hobbies projector that uses uh, UV illumination to cure the VAT and the resin. So it's, what is it for? It's for printing small intricate parts. So if you're a hobbyist 3D printer, if you make your own, you know, projects, uh, use, you know, many people have 3D printers at home to print their models. So let's say like Dungeons and Dragons figures and whatnot, figurines, uh, if you want to make make your own. So uh, my next phone yes. could have a built-in 3G, 3D projector, uh, the 3D uh, printer. You could cure material, yes. If you integrate that projector, uh, you can cure material. Projector and printer and AR, all from the same chip. <laughs> right? It should be nice to have a, a device that does all at, at the same time. That would be fantastic. Uh, so that's the MIPI display that goes into this projector. So that's also the display of the year. All right. Uh, can you talk a little bit about... Um, so the last three, four years. Right. Uh, what's been happening at your company? All right. So we have come out a long way. Uh, that's our CEO presenting uh, the display that won the Display of the Year Award. So the next display is about our uh, video is about our new factory in Shang uh, Hefei. So we have got a fab in Shanghai, but this is our new factory in Hefei. Uh, this makes us the largest micro LED manufacturer by far. Uh, this is our clean room. The whole building? Yes, yeah, this is, is JBD. It's all JBD. Yes, the and whole, it's a micro is, display fab. That's a micro display fab. As you can see, the wafer is being inspected here. Uh, we are showing some non-critical processes. Nice. So there's a huge demand. Correct. For this, yeah. and the market is yes. It's just about to explode, no? Yes, and you can see it from like independent analysts. They are predicting when the market is growing, and at the moment, most smart glasses uh, that are 
available in the market has got a JBD micro LED display we have got a very very good coverage and here uh, for that what it means is that our displays have to be super reliable and this are like reliability chambers so this whole room is for reliability testing um, this is your wafer that's our wafer here you have uh, 615 AR glasses I'm joking but how many it could be a bunch on, on a little yes so wafer. that that wafer itself has around 350 uh, displays on it cool so there we have a whole village that's right yes glasses. and on the video you can see oh sorry you just missed it um, they were showing how the uh, the chip from their uh, wafer is picked and uh, packaged and um, you have office in Hong Kong also we have a small financial office in Hong Kong, uh, but we have got people all over the world. I'm personally based in the UK. We have got colleagues in the US, uh, both R&D uh, and also on the marketing and sales side. Yes. And there, there has been announcements. I think Vuzix, for example. Yes. They're working with you. That we have been partners for a long while. We have got a very healthy partnership with Vuzix. Um, so they've got a new platform they're launching with uh, you know micro LED displays uh, and we work very closely to get uh, the products out they're an awesome company and they are the best <laughs> there's so much like there's a rumor that on June 5 some company over there that's called uh, with a fruit yes is gonna launch VR but then or AR who knows and then you know if this turns out great maybe millions of people want products like this Absolutely, that company we are talking about has a huge market presence. Uh, we believe uh, the product they will launch will be very successful and it will be great for the industry. Uh, you know, a number of uh, thousands of very smart people are working in this industry. They just need the, the consumers to be aware of what's going on and this company in particular might have the, has the brand value to, you know, get consumers curious. Cool. And there is your 0.4 CC. That's correct. That's the, that's the one. Uh, do you announce anything about the next gen? Uh, we we are a bit uh, cautious on uh, uh, when we release a press release. Uh, so when we are ready with the technology and a product uh, that's reliable, we announce it to the world that we are ready for production. Uh, so this is our latest product that we have launched in the market uh, that's in mass production uh, so we take it's a cycle time of roughly around six months uh, that we announce a new product every year yeah hello I'm mr. beast no I'm not mr. beast actually but if I was mr. beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money I would use wise wise is a really smart way to send money around the world tiny little fees check out my video a seven minute video where I try to explain some more it works in hundreds of countries every time you go to a different country use your wise card or use your Android pay your your uh, Apple pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay uh, fee if you have some customers in different countries they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe all over the world you can get local bank account details they transfer tiny little fees don't use PayPal anymore don't use Western Union and don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising but you wouldn't know maybe but they take fees that are gigantic that are pretty big just use the wise it's smart